All right, so last video we talked about the spoiler I'm working on for the 280Z. Was it big enough? Was it the right choice? Does it look the part? I left it up to you guys. I asked for opinions, comments, and exactly zero of you commented on it. Let me know how you feel. So I just went ahead and made the best judgment call I possibly could. And well, we went bigger. So this is finally done. It took about four days to print all of it. I could have probably done a little bit faster, but either way, it's printed out of ABS. It's about three quarters of an inch taller. Um, has a little bit more vertical to it. It overhangs the quarter panels about three quarters of an inch more. A little bit more gap along the quarter panels. And overall, I think it's just a way better choice. It looks really good. Obviously, I need to get it all glued up, but I want to set it on the hatch first so all the panels are sitting flat. So when I glue it, they hold that same curve. Looks really good. Hopefully, I should get it, have a video finishing it out here pretty soon. Um, and I guess it's kind of, I'm dedicated to that route because this ended up breaking right in half. I only had like three pieces of double-sided tape. You can see one right there. I had one in the center and then one on the other side. And that had such a good bond that it broke in half trying to pull it off. So it is what it is. I guess we're going with the bigger one. So the engine bay of the 280Z has not seen a whole lot of progress. I have slowly been taking things apart and pulling them off. It's kind of setting them in the trunk for the time being because I do need to prep this motor to get it pulled and listed for sale. Hopefully I can sell it pretty easy, make some money back, and that can go towards the VQ swap because uh, that's not gonna be super cheap. CDO nines are freaking outrageous for what they are, uh, but hopefully this covers at least a portion of that. So one of my biggest gripes with the exterior of the Z is these side marker lights. They are absolutely massive. They don't look very good. A lot of other people, get rid of them and just fill that gap. So I bought some 18 gauge cold rolled steel. I'm gonna hammer form it, try and get a little bit of a curve to it so we can go ahead and patch these lights up because I, I just hate how they look. The car looks so much better flush. I need to go ahead and make one for this as well. I know, who is it? One of the companies makes a whole patch kit you can just order. It probably would have been the cheaper, easier route to go. However, um, I need to stretch my legs, practice a little bit of steel work anyway. It's not a big deal. However, I do have to wait to get power in the garage. I hired an electrician. He basically just never showed up. So I don't really have the power source to run my TIG welder. I could run it on the MIG. Uh, I prefer to just have the TIG, tack it in place, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I can MIG it. But I don't have very good power outlets over in this bay. So it's not very practical. Hopefully that can get sorted here pretty soon and we can get moving on that. I don't know if it's a change in the weather. I don't know if it's because spring cleaning, but there has been some pretty killer deals on Facebook Marketplace. And I've picked up a few random parts that hopefully I can end up flipping. First off is a set of absolutely massive Brembo calipers from a BMW M5 M6. I got a pretty good deal on these. I spent a lot of time cleaning them up, making them look pretty. Uh, the front's already done, however, the rears, have not been cleaned yet. I'm gonna end up throwing them in the ultrasonic cleaner. However, that thing has an absolutely massive draw on power. So um, we'll see about that. Need to get these cleaned up and then I get them prepped to 3D scan. I've already gone ahead and 3D scanned the front calipers in. I have a really good high resolution, high quality model that I can use for future reference and potentially sell. The, the other item I ended up buying is totally random. It'd be cool if they fit on here. However, they absolutely massive so they will not be going on the Z but I bought a set of Ray's 18 inch, 19 inch wheels off of a 2008 350Z Nismo edition. The tires look really fresh on them. However, they're not actually beaded. So I need to get some stems in them, uh, seat the tires, fill them up with air. Hopefully I could make some money, end up flipping them, but I am gonna end up actually 3D scanning these as well, just to have as a reference for future design, but it would be kind of cool on there. There's way too big. Out of curiosity, it'd actually be kind of cool if somebody could make like a 16 inch, 17 version of these same wheels for that car. But I don't know who to talk to for that. That's gonna be a wrap for today. I am working on the videos for the spoiler. I'm working on a video for the 3D scanning of the brake calipers, but progress kind of is what it is for the time being. Hopefully we can get the motor out, pulled, sold, and get a VQ on the way. I've been following auctions every single day trying to score a deal. However, it just hasn't happened yet. So fingers crossed someone pops up very soon and nobody outbids me. But that's me a wrap for today. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one.